So this question says, if the diameter of circle C is three times the diameter of circle D, I have a habit of using a strategy that I call plug-in picture. Anytime I see a question that describes something that can be drawn, I'm going to draw it. So I'm going to draw circle C, and again, who cares how great of a circle it is? We just want to represent what we're reading. And I'm going to draw circle D, right? It's going to draw it smaller because the question tells us that circle C's diameter is three times that of circle D. So I could just say the diameter here is like 3x, whereas the diameter here is x. After the comma in the sentence, we have then the area of circle C. How do you find the area, first of all? So let me just write that down. So that'd be area equals pi r squared. The area of circle C is how many times the area of circle D. So it also have to find the area for circle D, so another pi r squared. So I don't know what r is. Now I know that radius, or r, which stands for radius, is half the diameter. So I'm going to throw another strategy in here that I call plug in your own number. And I do that because I just feel like this question would be so much easier if I had real numbers here instead of x and 3x. So what will be a good number to use that I can take half of and take a third of? I think 6, right? So if I make this 6 and I make this 2, then it's true that circle C's diameter is 3 times that of circle D. And it's easy to find the radius. So for instance, to find the area of circle C, it would just be pi. R is the radius. Again, the radius is half the diameter. The diameter here that I've made up is 6. So that means my radius would be 3. So pi, 3 squared. And therefore, my area would be 9 pi. Doing the same thing here with circle D, I have an area that's equal to pi. The radius is 1, so 1 squared. So I, therefore, I'd have an area that is just pi. So the area of circle C is 9 times this area of circle D. So my answer here would be 9 